Hello everyone, that's Vincenzo Piccolo from University of Campania, Luigi Bambitelli. And today I'm going to talk uh, about the demoscopy of uh, COVID tools. Um, I think that each of you in this uh, previous month uh, has observed this kind of lesion. Uh, these are um, defined as COVID tools because we have uh, seen a lot of cases in during COVID pandemic of these chill brain like lesions. So uh, lesions uh, resembling pernio, but out of season and without any uh, exposure to uh, cold uh, climate. Uh, these are the features of uh, 63 patients with COVID tools observed by our group in um, Italy. And as you can see, most patients were adolescent. Lesions were mostly located at feet, sometimes uh, also at the ends. Uh, we can distinguish between two kinds of uh, uh, chill brain like lesions. On one end, erythematous edematous, and the other one with blistering detachment. Pain and itch were the most common symptoms associated. We have the uh, median time to diagnosis of 10 days and a very low rate of uh, uh, systemic symptoms associated uh, with COVID dose. So the most important features to uh, keep in mind are that the patients are often young and um, they have a low rate of systemic symptoms and uh, so a low rate of positivity to uh, COVID status uh, um, investigation. Uh, what we did um, after the first observation that was through uh, teledermatology, uh, was trying to uh, de define the dermoscopic features of this patient to better understand uh, the, the um, uh, clinical characteristic of this uh, patient. This study was conducted on uh, uh, 10 patients and uh, here you have uh, the dermoscopic findings of uh, some of these patients. In this case, we have uh, a combination of dotted vessels in a patchy distribution with the uh, purpuric dots and the erythematous backgrounds. As you can see, uh, as you know, dotted vessels uh, um, are um, associated with, uh, and purpuric dots are associated with uh, uh, erythrocyte extravasation, while erythematous background with uh, inflammation. In this case, dotted vessels were associated with yellow scales, probably secondary to erosions, and purpuric dots uh, were associated with uh, er erythrocyte extravasation, while uh, the copper red background was secondary to hemosiderin deposits in the late phase of the disease. In this other case, a combination of erythematous background already seen in, pre in uh, previous patients uh, was associated with white structureless areas, probably secondary to skin detachment. In this other case, we have a combination of purpuric dots and copper red background, probably because observed in the late phase of disease. In this other patient, we have a combination of white scales, erythematous background, and white structureless areas. And here, in this case, we have uh, patchy dotted vessels associated with purpuric dots and uh, capillary red background. This is a summary of patient characteristics and in particular of uh, the dermoscopic characteristic of this patient. As you can see, uh, we should evaluate the background that can range from erythematous to coppery red. Probably the erythematous background is seen at the beginning when we have uh, a simple inflammation, and after that, uh, it um, tends to be coppery red for uh, hemosiderin deposits. Uh, we have dotted vessels associated with purpuric uh, dots, as I told you before, uh, probably because. Uh, we have a, 
erythrocyte extra uh, vasation and uh, a lymphocytic infiltration around small vessels and other features such as um, why structureless areas can be uh, seen in these patients. Uh, this is a summary of dermoscopic uh, characteristic that can be useful to um, keep in mind all uh, uh, the dermoscopic findings of COVID dose, dotted uh, patchy vessels, white or yellow scales in a patchy distribution, and the other structures such as purpuric dots and coppery red erythematous background, and finally white structureless areas. Um, this is a comparison between dermoscopic findings in COVID dose and in pigmented purpuric dermatosis uh, that can be very hard to distinguish from COVID-2, but it is a different disease often appearing in children with more extensive um, lesions, not just affecting uh, feet. Which are the take-home messages? First of all, children-like lesions are uh, definitely the most common findings in patients with COVID-19. Um, basically, we have a low rate of positive uh, COVID status, and this kind of uh, lesion often present in asymptomatic patients. Dermoscopy can be a very important tool, and was very important for us because it uh, allowed to investigate a new disease before histopathological uh, studies. And here you have the most common findings in a dermoscopy with erythematous copper red background associated with patchy red dots, purpuric dots, and finally, wide structureless area. Thank you for listening. <laughs>